What's up guys, it's Woof Woof Wolf. Our 29th clone of the week is Captain Gregor. Colonel, you're right. I'll never make us back alive. Yes, you will, sir. This is what I was born to do. Now go, before it's too late. Gregor, designated CC557639, served as a clone commando and a clone trooper captain, and was in charge of Foxtrot Group, an elite squad of clone commandos. Gregor wore Katarn class commando armor with digital camo and yellow-orange markings, representing his membership in the 212th Attack Battalion. He carried a DC-17M, and his helmet featured tally marks to represent the number of droids he had destroyed. They tally up to 250, the most of any clone who tallies their droid kill count. After covering the retreat from his fellow brothers, Gregor was reported as MIA after the Battle of Sarish and was thought to be missing in space. However, he ended up on the planet Abafar with amnesia and was given a job as a dishwasher by the overweight Celestin Borkus for nothing more than a room and board. After Colonel Mieber Gascon and his team of droids crash landed on Abafar, they helped Gregor recover his memory, and he in turn helped them escape. When Mieber Gascon discovered Gregor, he was not very confident and spoke in a low voice. He thought Borkus was doing a good thing for him by letting him get an apartment and work as a dishwasher for money. When Gregor asked what a clone was, Borkus told them that they were brave and skilled soldiers, something Gregor was not. As D-Squad began to reassemble, Gregor's personality changed. He became more confident and realized Borkus was treating him like a slave. He proudly repledged himself as a soldier for the Republic. As a clone commando with advanced training, Gregor was extremely proficient with weapons and managed to take on an entire base full of droids by himself, destroying super battle droids, droidicas, and battle droids using his wit and skill, only becoming surrounded after breaking position to save the colonel. Gregor possessed excellent accuracy compared to his clone brethren being able to shoot droids in the head while jumping and running from cover to cover. However, he was left alone on the planet, surrounded by hostile forces, and facing near certain death, Gregor seemingly sacrificed himself after shooting containers of Rhydonium to destroy the droids that would have shot down Gascon's fleeing shuttle. Despite his apparent death on Abafar, Gregor survived and made his way back home. Gregor, now a commander, survived the Clone Wars and at some point removed his control chip. In the years after the Galactic Empire's creation, Gregor was living with Captain Rex and Commander Wolf in a modified ATTE on the planet Celos. Unfortunately, his brain took a hit, and as a result, he suffered from episodes of mild insanity. Four years prior to the Battle of Yavin, the clones were approached by the crew of the Ghost. Unlike Wolf, Gregor, along with Rex, was not hostile towards Kanan Jarrus and the Rebel Cell. He befriended Ezra and Zeb, and convinced the Rebels to accompany him on a hunt for Jupas, in return for Rex supplying them with information on former Republic military installations. Gregor and Wolf were loyal to Rex and looked up to him as their leader, and they were willing to fight to the death to protect their newfound Rebel friends from Imperial forces led by Agent Callus. Gregor, Rex, and Wolf soon came to respect Kanan and Ezra after the Rebels came to their aid and drove off Kallus' forces. While Rex joined the Rebellion, Gregor and Wolf stayed behind on Celos, taking the remaining AT-AT walker for their new home, nicknamed Jupa Base. In one BBY, Gregor and Wolf were approached by the Rebels to join Ezra in liberating his homeworld Lothal from the Empire. While Gregor thought that Ezra's plan to liberate Lothal had a slim chance of success, his loyalty to Rex and Ezra led him to volunteer for the mission. Following the capture of Governor Price, Gregor along with Rex and Wolf took part in the assault on the Dome, the Imperial headquarters on Lothal. During the battle, Gregor was shot in the right side of the chest by an Imperial weapons technician. Despite being mortally wounded, Gregor hurled the Imperial into the depths of the reactor chamber. He then told Callus to get the shields back up. After reuniting with Rex, Gregor told him it was an honor to serve with him and to fight for something they chose to believe in. Gregor's death was not in vain, as the Rebels succeeded in liberating Lothal. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Thalus Art on Instagram. We collaborated again for today's Clone of the Week, and he produced this awesome art piece of Gregor. He also posted this masterpiece from the Rookies episode. I'll leave the links in the description below.
Let me know in the comments below which clone you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Wolf signing off, and as always, Woof, Woof. Oh shit! You're not on the sheet! 900 year fees! Smoking take a What the hell is an aluminum falcon?